Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Paul Golish. This is Greg Carey, and we are the founders of Voxy. Um, so I want to introduce you to, uh, to Gabriella, uh, who is one of the one billion people in the world who are currently studying English. Um, Gabriella lives in Brazil. Uh, I'll let you guess. She's pretty, right? Still stuck. Um, however, so she's, uh, she lives in Brazil, and she works for one of the biggest ad agencies called Baruda. Uh, she just found out that she has to pitch a new account, Nike, on Friday. And despite this demure stock-like facade, um, she is uh, actually really stressed because her company is placing a lot of emphasis on the English learning language skills of someone who's going in front of clients. So she's tried just about every product imaginable, and Voxy's the only one that works to help her learn English. So Voxy works for a couple different reasons. It, it seamlessly integrates into her life. First of all, it's mobile. And like all of us in this room, she's essentially a cyborg. She's connected to her phone 24-7. Second, it uses fresh, relevant content. So it's always fresh every day. And finally, it's personalized. Her experience is entirely unique among all of our 1.5 million users. So there's a lot of depth to the product, on both on the web and mobile. But I want to focus on three specific use cases. So one of the things that Gabriela loves is to read topical news um, from the Associated Press and Bloomberg in her target language, English. So whether it's Nadal you know, winning the French Open, or you know, Zynga's stock being down, or Japanese man climbs all 14 of the world's tallest peaks, she can learn vocabulary building, grammar, idiom, and reading comprehension in context. She can pr practice her pronunciation and even save her own pronunciation right next to, the, uh, to a native speaker. Childhood dream. Cool. Here we go. Um, everything that she does within Voxy is actually scored so that over time, she can see her progress and see how she's advancing, where her strengths and weaknesses are. So as much as she loves topical news and reading about entertainment, pop culture, sports, news, she is about to flip out because today, on stage at launch, Voxy's launching our newest media type, which is music. So now, from Adele to Coldplay, she can learn from the music that's inside her phone. Music is an incredibly powerful teaching tool for someone who's learning a second language. First of all, um, it's very catchy, and that helps a lot with cognition. Second of all, it's extremely dense and rich with English idiom, so that really helps understand things that you really can't learn in a textbook. And finally, it really encourages linguistic production, which is basically speaking. Um, it, everyone wants to be able to sing along with their favorite song. You can't do that unless you know the words. Uh, like all of Oxy's experience, everything is learned in context. Um, and in this particular song from Adele, Gabriela is going to learn breathless means semar. Um, cicatriz, deep, profundidad. And learning all of this in context, all of it stored personally for her. And what's Adele talking about? I think she had nothing or everything. So she got three out of four, not bad. All of that, again, stored with personal analytics provided on the back end on the website. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is, is, uh, okay. is the really cool part, but we'll, think we'll skip it. Lessons learned real quickly. Yes or no? Uh, this was Skype tutoring, which actually is pretty cool. So as she's getting ready for her presentation, uh, which is coming up this Friday, um, she signed up for a premium offering that we have, which is completely innovative. It's mobile tutoring that she can do in 10 to 30 minute segments. And she can talk using the data that we have. She can speak with a live English speaker about anything, whether it's how to understand an Adele song or some sound bites for her presentation with Nike. Um, so that is one of the new premium features that we're also launching uh, very recently. Okay. So on to uh, lessons learned. Uh, we've been at it for about two years. Actually, before I, she, she, she did, by the way, did win the account. Uh, and she also uh, got a promotion, which is great. 
Um, so a couple of key lessons that we've learned in the, in the two years we've been doing this um, from Gabriella and from our you know, million and a half users, tens of thousands of paying customers. Um, we've learned that to really leverage the direct-to-consumer market, and especially mobile. Uh, early on, we attacked institutions, and with the same $5,000 that we could have spent trying to sign up schools, um, putting that money into low-priced CPC in global markets where there's expanding inventory was enabled us to get to be the number one rated education app in over 20 countries around the world. And that provided an incredible velocity of growth for us that comes at very, very low cost. The second learning, um, and it's a little bit more, more broad for, for, for a lot of the companies at this, uh, at this um, uh, you know, arena, are that credentialing and skill building are getting entirely separated in today's world. People care about ROI on what they're investing time and money in their education. Um, so we've spent a lot of time focusing on the efficacy of our product, and, uh, and, and that, you know, in turn, gives our users higher ROI. Let's hear it for Voxy. Very well done. Um, feedback from our judges on uh, in innovative new ways to learn a language and be a supermodel. <laughs> I guess I would say I would comment that it seems a little bit unfair. You guys seem very far along. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and you've raised a bunch of funding as well, right? Uh, we have raised like $8 million. Yeah. Haven't spent even half of it yet, but... Uh, we have a range of companies here, and so if somebody's got just, just a little Just a striking money, contrast between yeah. the last two. We like to have a range, just people innovating, so is the general rule of how we pick people. I Who's innovating I, When, when I looked, I actually saw companies that were further along than us, so... Yeah, we had a couple, but you're amongst the furthest, yep. Cool. Not, not a ding, just a comment. Okay. Yeah. Well, what did you think of it? Uh, how did, what did you guys think of the product? I, I really like the, um, the mobile in the moment learning. Um, that seems super compelling, especially because language is something that you actually need to learn in context. And yeah. you know, sitting home for a lesson doesn't seem as applicable. Yeah, it's more of an experiential learning experience than it is sort of a lecture-based um, model. It just seems that language learning on your phone or on the web seems hyper competitive. Um, you know, uh, every week I get two or three people who want to pitch me on sort of I have a new language learning technology or phone app. Walk me through your, comp uh, your sort of top competitors and why, why you feel you can sort of um, outpace them. Well, I think you own one of them, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, right? Google. Uh, we don't. Oh, we you don't, don't? Own, no, we don't own. We may have invested in one or so, but yeah. I'm just sort of curious into your thoughts about it. So, so there is a lot of competition. I mean, a billion people learning something, and that's going to be growing to two billion. That creates a consumer market that's around $80 billion. So about twice the size of search advertising. So there's a lot of consumer spend out there, which, of course, is going to attract a lot of companies. Um, we think we're highly differentiated based on our mobile-first model. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the incumbents, um, and there's you know, companies that have learning management systems that are set up to I don't distribute. know if you've mentioned the names of any so far. Should I? So, uh, generally, so, if, the, if a VC asks okay, that question, so, it makes you look more credible. So Rosetta Stone, yeah. for example, has a really you know, respectable offering that's, that's, that's physical media that's shipped. But, but they're oh. not online or mobile, are they? <laughs> they do have some online SaaS products as well. Um, Open English is another company that's having some success in um, Latin America, and they take a traditional LMS, like a Blackboard, um, and push sort of a course-based lesson through that. Um, other companies are, like MindSnacks takes a totally different approach. They have a discrete learning module, which they spend more time trying to optimize how you're going to learn vocabulary sets than they do about how you're actually going to communicate in, in the real world. But it is a very competitive market. Uh, and it's, it's why we're building the absolute best team and best product we can. We believe that... So, so given the competitiveness market, one of the challenges is obviously spending a customer acquisition, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I'm, a, if I'm trying to learn English or Spanish or something else, I've got at least 400 different options from schools to tutors to um, Facebook. There's a Facebook tutoring company that sort of popped up a while back where I could find people in my network who knew yep. a language and paid them to do it. Mm -hmm. how, uh, how will you stand? How, what's your thought on what you need to do to sort of like win the market here? So a couple of things. Um, first of all is all, all of our growth so far has been organic, and that's, that's intentional. We're keeping marketing very, very low until, that our, until our unit economic model uh, is, is, is you know, sort of three or four to one LTV over CPA. That's really critical to us before we start to scale. Um, so I think we can, we can stay ahead by being able to acquire customers more efficiently. And how much are they paying now to use the service? If, I'm a, if I want to go and use Voxy, what would I be paying? So we're, we're testing pricing a lot, but um, overall it's about nine ninety nine a month. And we're seeing extremely strong retention um, on iOS uh, because recurring billing is a little bit more difficult. Uh, we have a lower lower LTV. But what we're starting to see more and more is the integrated. So approach. ten bucks a month. Ten bucks a month. Short answer. And what's the average lifespan of a customer? I mean, it's early, but uh, we've had no churn on annual and monthly over a year. So we're pretty pleased with the. Cindy, what do you think? 
Well, I think it's uh, well done. I, I really like the this new feature that you guys showed today. I think uh, I'm a big fan mm -hmm. of that <clears throat> type of approach on mobile, utilizing music to kind of get people. It's you know you have that information on the phone and using it to connect into you know learning English or find you know other other use cases. You have to license those songs and then program the words that you want to pull out of them. Correct. So we have to license the lyrics for sure. Yeah. Um, if the song comes from their own. Music. If they bought that song, yeah. we actually don't have to license the recording. Ah, um, so in order for that to work, oh, you have a global license to all lyrics, or we had to, we had to get a global license to all lyrics. Got it. So okay. I didn't know much about music licensing until about two months ago. Uh, there's actually three licenses that you get. One yep. is for the lyrics, one is for the recording, and one is for the basically the sheet music. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Let's hear it for Voxy.